the sight of God to celebrate a tremendous moment in life as we give recognition to the worth and beauty of your love and add best wishes and blessings to the words which shall unite you in holy matrimony, the union of which you enter into with love, trust, and devotion. For all those unable to be here with us, may we carry them in our hearts this day. We must endeavor to work together as a team, side by side, and find a healthy balance of compromise. First and foremost, the secrets of a successful marriage contain several key ingredients. The chief among them must be love. Love should be the core of your marriage and a mutual love for one another that brings us here today. It will also take trust, dedication, active communication, through talking as well as listening, and making the effort to understand one another. It will certainly take patience and compassion. Patience to bear with one another in times of adversity, holding compassion for each other in such times, and being willing to forgive. It is also respecting and appreciating your differences, and by remembering to make the important things matter, to let go of all the rest. Today we bear witness and joyfully affirm the choice you have made in celebrating your love by joining together in vows of marriage. Edie, without a doubt, Michael considers you to be his best friend. He loves that the two of you have the best times together. There are many things that he genuinely admires and appreciates about you. They'll top on that long list. The thing he admires the most is the way you make people feel important. You have a truly humble heart and are always looking to make someone's day better. He loves that you have an active and real relationship with God and that it is evident in your actions. If he could grant you one wish, it would be that you always feel as important as you make everyone else feel. The vision he has for your future is simply for you to enjoy life together. He cannot wait to buy your first house together. He wants to continue adventuring with you and your dog. He looks forward to being able to serve with you in your local church and eventually do mission trips together. Michael, you always know how to make Edie have premature ventricular contractions. <laughs> No matter if she's been with you one day or for 10 years, you are her best friend and her right hand. She loves that you chose her because you are the most faithful, sacrificial, and loving person she knows who is the closest form of heaven on earth to her. She knows she will never have to live without you because you have built so much of God's love that's in you, in her. The wish she would grant you is that she could be the wife that you have prayed for, that she could be the wife that you look forward to coming home to, the light you look for on a gloomy day, the wife that can build you up when you're feeling down, who makes your face grow wrinkles from smiling and laughing so much. She would grant you the wish that she was your heaven on earth. Her vision of your future together is bliss. Like your relationship, it will be an adventure worth exploring with God as your guide. Together, she wants you to be an example of a godly marriage that many people may never get the privilege to see. Yours will be original. Her vision is that you will build your marriage on the word of God, preparing for the adventures that he will take you on. Michael, please read aloud your vows to Edie. From the first time we met, I knew I wanted to in my life. The beautiful smile, with his long red hair, your interesting twisted clothes, cheerleading shorts and snow boots, was just what I wanted. 
Little did I know my wants would soon turn to needs. In the course of the last nine years, I have experienced a love like no other. We have grown and been through so much together. I'm honored to be the person standing in front of you today. Uh, I don't think it's my position to invite you. I'll always have the mentality that my position with you is a gift given to me from God. As I've told you before, I never thought I had a chance in the world of being with you. I'm so blessed that God can do the impossible. I truly feel like the luckiest man alive. In the years to come, I promise to always love you, to trust you, and to respect you and be faithful to you. I promise to always help you reach things on the top shelf. <laughs> they carry you when you don't feel like that. I promise to always smile at your jokes, hold you when you cry. Our relationship will always be my power. I'm sure that you never have to feel alone. I love you. You're my best friend. I'm honored to continue this adventure for the rest of my life. Do you make these vows in absolute faith and with a pure and honest heart? Yes, I do. When I pray to God for a man to carry me, when I can't walk, he gave me Quite literally, this man has gave me. This man he gave me has carried in my faith, and I felt alone to carry my body when I could not walk. When I prayed to God for a man who could defend me, he did this that. This man has been my voice when I could not speak, and my shield when I'm in the war, war zone. When I prayed to God for someone I could trust, he handed me a best friend, someone I could laugh with, a shoulder I could cry on, a friend to explore the world with, and a partner to walk with me in my journey to be closer to God. I promise to be sure every day of your life, you know, the man that I prayed for is you. I will stand beside you with God when you need reassurance that someone is there. I will defend you with God when you need defending. I will always strive to bring out the best in you and to walk with you closer to God. I will continue to make deviled eggs no matter how frustrating healing them can really be because I know how much you love them. And I promise to always keep adventure close so we are always learning something new about each other. Michael, I promise to go closer to God so he may lead me to be the wife that you need. I promise to be sure you always know you chose the right woman to love and care for you all the days of your life. I may be little, but my father is the king. I can't wait to see the plans you have to go. I'm all in. Do you make these vows in absolute faith and with a pure and honest heart? I do. Like circles, your rings have no beginning or end, and therefore, they are infinite. May Almighty God bless these rings and you who wear them, that you may ever abide in perfect love, peace, and harmony together. May the presence of them always remind you of the everlasting love you have pledged and devotion you willingly share with one another from this moment on. And may God fill your lives with his divine presence, that you may be kept safe in the circle of his protection and love. Amen. These rings now blessed, seal the vows of marriage, and represent your genuine promise of love and fidelity. Please take the rings that you have for one another. Michael, please take her left hand in yours. You may now place the ring on her finger. You take his left hand in yours, and you may now place the ring on his finger. And when you're ready, you may return to both hands. Edie and Michael, in so much as the two of you have promised your love for each other by these vows, and have sealed those vows with the exchange of rings, I do by virtue of the authority vested in me, Pronounce you married. Congratulations, you may now share your first kiss as husband and wife.